Y'all some hypocrites. And I'm about to tell you exactly why, all right? I'm about to tell you exactly why you're a hypocrite. Yes, you. Yeah, 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 you. No, don't look left. Don't look right. There's nobody else, bruh. I'm talking to you. You're a hypocrite. Test one, two. Test one, two. All right, listen. This video is not going to be comfortable. But... It's, I'm, I'm about to make you I'm, I'm, I'm about to make you uncomfortable and I'm fine with that I'm perfectly cool with making you uncomfortable because it, it, somebody got to tell you something okay sometimes I'm not gonna come here and tell you what you want to hear but you gotta hear it tough love I guess whatever you want to call it but this ain't even about love. This is about you being a hypocrite. Let's start off by the first example. My haters. I understand somebody being successful ruffles your feathers. I don't take it personal. I don't because in my eyes, I'm not that successful. In my eyes, I got a long way to go. In your eyes, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, you, 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 the haters, funny enough, they be more loyal than your fans. You know, my, 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 my normal fans, loving viewers, they might see my stuff. And they might not watch me till a week later. Like, oh man, it's been a while. Let's see what AK's been up to. But the hater, he'll what? He'll be first viewer. First, always. You know what I'm saying? Like, God damn it, bro. How about... So instead of you spending your time trying to find uh, 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 ways to be successful, you're instead on my page reporting old videos of mine. I, I had a bottle of lean in it. It is what it is. It could have been fake. You don't know that. But you got my video age restricted. I want to tell you something. You got my video age restricted. Guess what? Congratulations. I hope you feel better about your own life. I hope this, this, this reporting me made you feel better about your life. Which, I, if I had to guess, if I'm, I, I assume it is miserable that you had to go. Either way, that's not, that's not, that's, that's not get distracted. Because what I'm about to say is serious. And y'all, especially black people, bro. So if you watched the video I done about whack being fruity, it, if you notice, I had, a, I had, a, I had a tone of satire there the whole time. Uh, 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 uh. I was being funny. That was the goal of it. It was to be funny and also spit a point. But I feel like I got too carried away in being funny that I kind of didn't didn't really make my point too much. It was just a, it was a funny video. Where's my vape, bruh? One second. It was a funny video. Now, black people, I got an issue with this. So y'all went, like the, this video that came out about Bobby Shmurda with the T-girl or uh, it could have been a man or whatever, allegedly. I told you in that video, this is not for sure. We're not sure of this. This could have been this could have been faking. This could have been a lot of people lie on celebrities for a little bit of clout, which said person did get clout. Unfortunately, uh, 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 said person, said T girl, said person, 
Again, I love, I, love, I have no problems with LGBT, by the way. As you can see. Yeah. Yeah. I have. Hey. <laughs> they live. At the gay pride. So, you see, I have no issues with LGBT. But you, Mr. Sir, slash he, slash her, you wanted the clout. Guess what? You got clout. But they forgot to tell you. I'm going to tell you this as somebody who has clout. Did you think that people were going to be like, oh, 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 what a funny guy or girl making funny comments, funny? It, it is funny to your friends. I get it. But what they forgot to tell you about clout or what you didn't know about having clout, that person had to deactivate their page because they were getting too much death threats. They went private, then they deactivated the page. Welcome to my life. You want a clout? You got clout? And now welcome to my life. Death threats? Now you deactivate the page? Oh, lay. If you see my DM, you want to deactivate your page, you might change your name, get plastic surgery, and move to Latvia. A couple of death threats got you scared? Holy, you should see my, my DMs. That's a story for another day. But here's my issue with the hypocrisy. Because y'all some hypocrites. If you had morals and principles, even if they were twisted by my view or perspective, I would still honor them and respect them. If a racist dude tells me, hey man, I hate your kind. I, for example, he says, I hate black people. Mm, okay, damn. But then he shows love to, let's say, a certain black person, but then he turns to me and says, I hate black people. I would look at it like, hmm? Shreggy? <laughs> Shreggy? You hate what? If Dr. Umar, who is known for uh, going against, he preaches all this about no for interracial marriage. And then if you, if you have a snow bunny, it's like you've committed treason, according to him, right? Dr. Umar, you know Dr. Umar. Now, if Dr. Umar comes up tomorrow and he got a white girl with him, you know how they do hand hand like this, walking down the street, what, how would you feel about Dr. Umar? You feel me? If you, like I said, so you can, you, you, if, if you hate black people, cool, then hate all black people. If Dr. Umar, for example, wouldn't marry a white woman, wouldn't date one, if I see him, then I'm like, damn, you're a hypocrite. So when I see the black community clowning Bobby Schmurda for allegedly being gay, which it, we didn't even know at the time. It was 50-50. That person came out and said they were lying. Me being progressive and cool with LGBT is one thing. Because I know that gets me a lot of scrutiny in the black community. But I'm cool with that. Because I think what I think. I don't care what nobody... What, what somebody does in their bedroom, two consenting adults, why would I have an issue with that? But here's my thing with you black people. Come here, let me holler at you for a second. Come here. Y'all have issues with two consenting adults in their bedroom. But y'all don't want to speak about Africa Bambada. Even if Bobby Shmurda, hypothetically, in a hypothetical imaginary world, was actually gay. How does that affect your life, bro? If he was really gay, then, then, then what? Then what? When I see Bobby, I just see Bobby. I don't know what Bobby does in his bedroom. I don't care. Let me make sure I'm still recording. Tessie? Hold on. Hold on, because last time it cut off and it... Uh... Yeah, so 
what Bobby does is Bobby. But y'all don't have an issue with Bobby. Y'all sorry, y'all have an issue with Bobby, but you don't have an issue with Africa Bambada? With kids? He's a chomo. If you don't know what that means, look it up. He's a P word. Starts with P. And there's an ED in there. And it ends with this letter. Since y'all like to report so much, age restrict and whatnot. This is, I'm, I'm not cursing. I'm going by YouTube rules here. You're not going to get me demonetized. I'm going to get my bag whether you like it or not. And in the process of it, I'm going to wake you up. I'm going to make you uncomfortable. You're going to sit here and you're going to listen like the hater that you are. Because you, you like to hate, right? So I'm going to give you something to hate on. You're a hypocrite. You have issues with a, with a man, hypothetically, being gay. Let's say he was gay. So what? The same people that do that, like, whack 100, you're supposed to be a... Like, I'm going to take Wack 100 as an example. People think I have some against them. No, I don't know him from a can of paint. I have issues with the stuff, and because and, and, he's a public figure. I can talk about any public figure I want to. I don't have to ask you permission. I'm not checking in on Pyro with you to talk about you. Wack 100 had words for... for by the way, he had them words while he was laying face down, looking like this. <laughs> oh, la. He had a lot to say about Bobby Smurda being gay, which we didn't even know for sure, but he had a lot to. Oh, that was normal, bro. Oh, Pyruka. But he didn't have any issues sitting down with a known federal informant named Takashi, not Takashi Murakami, Takashi 6 not <clears throat> I'm sorry, Takashi Snitch 9, and his issue was with the gay, right? Takashi got rainbow hair, but Bobby, is he a rat too? Why would he have the end? No, Bobby didn't rat. So the gang member has an issue with the dude who's not a rat, calling him gay for, 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 for a video that's not even real, that's not, I'm sorry, a claim that's not even verified, which turned out to be fake, by the way. You know it wasn't fake? Them cheeks in the air, that was not fake, all right? They said he was sitting down, he had his toes clapping together. <laughs> Charles the wife, too funny. <laughs> So you got an issue with him, but not that? Black people, y'all have issues with a man being gay, which he's not. If y'all do, then keep it all the way straight. I get it? No, I'm playing. That's not even a uh, What? Then keep it all the way. Stand on your morals, okay? You can't just be flip-floppy. Where is all this energy for Africa Bambata? When Hassan Campbell came out and said what he said, as a victim, I see people, I'm arguing with people on Instagram. It's like, I don't know if you're paid by, by Africa Bambata or you, I don't know what it is, but people are trying to, he's telling you, I got, uh, I got R word when I was a young child, a young kid. Instead, what you do is you defend the creep. You defend the P, E, D, O. You defend the chomo over the victim, and you try, to, you try to add numbers to the victim age to make it look like it was consensual. He wasn't saying I was 15, turning 16. This didn't happen when he was 17, turning 18. This happened when he was 11, 10 years old. Some victims were even younger than that. But no, nobody got anything to say for that. That's the man who invented hip hop, Africa Bambada. Nobody got nothing for Africa Bambada. All that energy is going at uh, 
Bobby Smurda's fruity. Hmm? That turned out to be fake, and I knew it was fake. I was just waiting for it. I, I said that in a video. I was like, oh, this is not confirmed. It's 50-50. It's a clout move. And they got the clout, and they didn't know that clout is not going to be all praise. They thought, they, thought so, they thought people were just going to be like, oh, you're the funniest trans in the world. Bruh, death threats... And they got so much death threats that they had to close Instagram. Again, welcome to my life. If you got a couple of death threats and you had to deactivate, oh, if you see my DM, you're going you gonna to move to the South Pole and change your name and get plastic surgery. Holla. So again, if y'all got issues, if y'all, if y'all, listen. Y'all got all this energy for this actress that got charged with child abuse, which again, it's, it's allegations, right? And y'all got energies for all the wrong stuff. But the stuff that, like, how are you, how, black people, I know he has a good voice. I know that. But y'all are cool with R. Kelly, bruh. R. Kelly, bruh. R. Kelly, bruh. Older people, listen, I'm 24 years old. When the tape of him peeing on her was out and about and in circulation, that most of y'all seen it, everybody of, of, the, of, the, of the millennials and the generation above have pretty much seen the tape of R. Kelly peeing on that girl, an underage girl. But no, R. Kelly's voice is good. I believe I can fly. So that's fine. He can be a, he can be a P, Edo, and get away with it. And y'all have no issues. Oh, free R. Kelly, huh? But Bill Cosby, who got charged with a with, with a pill and a, and, 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 and I don't, we don't know if it's true. I personally don't believe it in Cosby's case. Sixty years later. <laughs> No cameras, no nothing. It was just, oh, we went back to the hotel. And yes, I went there. What did you think was going to happen? Bible study? You went back with a, with a man from the club, a celebrity at that. You knew him. Y'all was getting close and intimate in the club. Went back to the room. Bada boom, bada pow. You know how Bill, Bill Cosby talked. Boom, 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 bow. He gave it to you. What did you think? What were you expecting as a grown? Listen, uh, to be in a club in Canada is 19 years old. In America, it's 21. When I was 21, I knew what's up with the world. If we going back from the club, I'm not, I'm not a kid that you took advantage of at 21 years old. I know what's up. You were not 21. You were older. And you said, so again. Y'all not defending Bill Cosby, but y'all defending R. Kelly, who peed on camera? And y'all hiding it for him? Why? Because he got a good voice? See the hypocrisy, bruh? I don't like selective politicking. When I'm seeing a supposed to be top respected gang member basically hating and, and, and just attacking Bobby Shmurda, who did his time and kept quiet. Meanwhile, he calling, he calling him fruity. Meanwhile, he's sitting on the table doing business, supporting, even protecting a well-known rat. A, a well-known rat, a well-known snitch, a well-known federal informant. Unless you got some FBI ties, or you're undercover, because it seems like you're undercover, bro. Because either you have immunity, or you have like the GTA cheat code that you don't get stars. How are you on Clubhouse every other day for hours discussing gang politics? And, 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 and all you do is check paperwork, huh? You must be a cop, honestly. So you sit down with Rainbow Rat. But you want to hate the... Is it because he's a black man?
and y'all not white. I'm talking to y'all. Y'all, I'm talking to black people here. Black, listen. Black people always want to blame the white man. You want to, you want to keep blaming the white man? Well, let me tell you this. I'm blaming you today. Don't blame the white man. I'm not excusing anything being done to you under whatever. But I'm saying the biggest enemy of the black man is the black man. I get haters a lot from all races, but most of my haters are black. The people in the comments defending the P almost said the word. The P E E D O over the victim are black. Talking about keep it hip hop, keep it pushing. You know, I see why Michael Jackson bleached his skin. I might bleach my skin, bro. I might just be, I'm, I'm turning Caucasian. I identify, listen. Shout out to the, to the, I just seen the gay pride, right? So I rock with their movement. Therefore, from this day forward, guys, my name is Josh and I identify as a white man because I'm sick of you ends. I'm sick of you Negroes. I'm done. How is it in our community, someone comes, and someone respected at that, like Hassan Campbell, got bodies, served time for hom homies, not homos, homies. And when he comes to you, and he, you see him doing a pro-positive, anti-violence, anti-gang, y'all so quick to tear him down. When he's really coming with a pot, he's, he's trying to help you. And when he tell, when he talk, we need to talk about Africa Bambada. Not because of the person, because male victims don't get the, the respect that they deserve. All they get is scrutiny. They get clowned upon. And also, you got people. There's a lot of, there's a lot of black kids. Black boys at that. Because the girls, they already have Me Too movement. But when the boys get touched, when the boys get taken advantage of, I said boys, not men. Nobody comes to their defense. There's a lot of, y'all keep, I, I love the gang lifestyle. You know how many of these big homies, gang leaders are creeps? And closeted. I have no issues with, with gay, but they're closeted. And again, it's cool. Be closeted. You want to do that on the low? Do, do what you got to do. But do it with a consensual, consenting adult. Not a, not a, not a minor who, 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 who... Not even 10 years old, bro. Like 12 years old. You're sick. You're chomo. And when people bring it to light... Instead of us, like white people, girls or boys, when they tell the fact that they got, and I've seen it. When white people, I've seen it happen when they come out and say that they were, they say I was R'd, I was R word. The first thing people say, oh, I'm sorry. Sorry to hear. Sorry about that. I'm here for you. But when, when, when black people, we say that, ha, 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 ha. Nah, you liked it. Keep it pushing. Keep it hip hop. Keep what hip hop? I'm sick of y'all. But R. Kelly, oh, that's fine, huh? That was on camera and all y'all seen it. Y'all whole generation seen it. How the hell did you let that, that is, that is considered child P word, O-R-N. But y'all had it in circulation for years, before the internet. What kind of generation is that? The same people trying to tell me, why are you defending Hassan, he's fruity. Even if he was fruity. He's doing more for, your, for you and your community than anybody will. They're the same clowns y'all worship.
These rappers don't care about you. These rappers are telling you to go pop each other. Are you happy with the way things are? But you want to come act, act gangsta on me, right? Let me tell you something. I am not a P-word U-S-S-Y. I am not that. Don't take me for one of these YouTubers. Just like Hassan, I'm, I don't live that life no more. But I've been around real, y'all want to call them steppers? What, what do you call them? Slimes or what do, what do you call What's the word for it? People who, listen, they got the bodies to show for it. Not the pretend kind like these, these kids y'all got to run around. Real people. Real pa pa pa. with the bodies to show for it. You understand what I'm saying? Body snatches. But when we chilled and when we see each other, this was in the third world, uh, second world country, kind of third world. This was not in America, Canada. It's overseas. They really took lives. But when we sit, I saw nothing but laughing and jokes. And, and talking about positivity, about wanting to do better, about wanting to escape testing, to escape this harmful environment, not embrace it, not add on to the fire. And they really took lives, more, sometimes more than one. But you, you're a street and oh, you a tough guy. You want to go? They did, we, all they wanted to do was laugh and joke and, and, and be happy. Because they've seen horrors. I've seen horrors. That's why I come here and just laugh most of the time. But you, you're so tough that you want to go on Instagram and act tough on a stranger because he made you look in the mirror and realize that you were supporting a creep all along. Knowing he's a creep. Uh, 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 uh. Wow. Bravo. These people y'all think are gangster? They got the, uh, I, I, don't, I don't rock with no rats. They'll sit down with a rat for business, but they'll convince you that they're so gangster and tough, make you check it. Listen. I'm not even in the life and I don't like rats. Maybe, maybe not rats, but watch the video I did on 6 ix 9 I gave you, I, I just don't like that type of character and I explained it there better. And um, keep, keep it straight, bro. Keep it straightforward. If you don't like something, don't, don't try to force the mentality that Oh, yeah. You know, I don't like creeps. Oh, but you perfectly fine with Africa Bambada, perfectly fine with R. Kelly, and many more examples. I'm just using those because they're more relevant and, 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 and to make a point. Why do we got to keep seeing 6 9 all over? Tired of it. He brings nothing positive. He was just in Russia. And I get it, you're joking. I have a edgy sense of humor too. I get it, I troll. But what you said there is not trolling. He's in Russia doing a show talking about F. Brittany Grenner. Six nine, you went to jail for Rico, racketeering, conspiracy. Conspiracy to do what? To, to make good music? Nah. I liked your music before, but nah. Conspiracy and, and kidnapping and selling heroin and, 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 and all types of damage in the world you've, you've done, you've caused. And so, most of it, see, I'm not no rat like you. Between me and you, one person who was to, in the street to another, I, if you was in that life, me and you both know You've done a lot of more damage that you not that you didn't get charged for. 
On top of that, you put hella people, some of them didn't rob, I get shoddy and horrible or whatever, but a lot of them didn't do nothing to you. They're sitting there doing 20, 30 years, 40 years, because they were your loyal soldiers. So you suck as a general, you suck as a human being, what you did to Perkyo, you suck as a friend, what you did to Steve, Steve will do it. And on top of that, all of these bad experiences that you went through, you not only have you not learned, but you suck to your the few fans that you got. Disloyal to them. Everything I do, I think about my fans. I tell them, no, leave the gun, put the guns down, leave the violence, stop the gang life, get out the streets. I stop drinking lean, not because they reported my video, because I realized that some people follow me and my footsteps. And they're way less than 6'9". So you out there and you're not using your voice for anything positive. You use your voice to say, F Brittany Griner? And she's doing time in jail that is like, you experienced jail, didn't you? Or they had you in PC. You weren't in public. They had you in protective custody because you're a rat with rainbow hair. Imagine going to prison with rainbow hair, bruh. So you was in protective custody talking all this. And after all this, you come and tell the kids. You don't tell the kids, stay away from the streets. Instead, you're still promoting the gang life. You're still talking like you're a big wise guy, big mafia boss. You're not. You're a civilian. You're doing your fans a disservice by telling them this nonsense. And frankly, it's disgusting to see you make very distasteful comments about PNB rocks passing. You're not a tough guy. I know people who took lives who wouldn't do that distasteful S you did. Very distasteful. Your issues was with PNB Rock. Your issues are with PNB Rock. His grieving mother don't have to hear you make jokes about waffles about her son passing. So you suck as all that. You also suck as a man. And when it comes to having a powerful voice, a powerful platform, after all this waste, you still wasted it because the least you could have did is, okay, you don't want to mention her for, 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 for fear of your life or whatever, Brittany Greiner, I get it. You got business in Russia. It's okay. I understand. But don't say F her. She got sentenced to 20 years for weed vape. To be honest, if I'm the judge, they should have gave you them 40 years for doing all this damage to the community because you deserve it more. I've just listed the reasons why. As a friend, as a man, as a father, you ask. As a husband, you're terrible. As a boyfriend, you put, you snitched on your girlfriend, had her in jail. So you can't even contain that in the house. Give them 40 years to Takashi. But no, you guys have will sit down with Takashi on Pyro, cause he checked in. Y'all have no integrity. Y'all have no morals. Don't ever come on here and try to tell me that you gangster, that you, that you walk the yard, F the yard. Being in jail is nothing to brag about. Nothing to brag about. You bragging to these kids about being in jail? Is that what you learned in jail? I'm gonna tell you what they were doing in jail. They were stuffing stuff up their exit hole. That's what they were doing. Shout out to Hassan Campbell. Yes, I'm not original, but the message is the message. I got locked up too. When you get locked up, you realize this is not a way for a human being to live. Y'all let social media run your minds. You're trying to act tough for the gram, for Instagram. A lot of y'all grown men pushing 40 years old, sitting on Instagram, trying to convince me, a 24-year-old, uh, you trying to justify violence to me? Like I care. You're, you're 40 years old. You should be telling me this, not the other way around. But you see, 
the fans, right? The white kids in the suburbs who are disconnected from the harsh realities that you got to face. You and I, my friend, because all this money, I'm still a black man. I'm a black man with face tattoos. No matter how much money I have, I'm going to still be a black man with face tattoos. Let's be honest. So me and you got to live in this harsh world that is already not kind to our kind. But instead of trying to fix our own issues and figure out what's wrong with our, because with our, frankly, we deal with a lot. All these gangs, listen, being the gangs, the gangs, Crips, I'm going to take Crips, for example. Crips started off as something kind of like Black Panther movement, where it was like almost political. It was to protect us. It was to make us better, to educate us. That's what Larry Hoover is trying to spin it as now. No, it wasn't. But some, some, some organizations started off like that. They got infiltrated by the government, CIA, FBI, whatever. The same, yes, this is now conspiracy theory. Why do you, the same people that assassinated Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, list goes on. So it's no secret that you ended up being a violent gang. What baffles me is you're so cooked in your head that you can't realize it. Especially you older cats, because these young dudes don't know about <laughs> assassinations of Martin Luther King. They weren't, even people my age don't. I just research. Instead of the older people trying to fix the problem, they're adding more fire to it, and they're getting more hyped up because of the white suburban kids in the comments. These are kids trolling you, talking about why you ain't slide for him, why you ain't slide for him. They're disconnected. But you gotta live that reality. So when you get hyped up by the kids on the comments, they're desensitized, they're Gen Z. They're born seeing violence and all type of stuff on a daily, which is not normal. All this violence going on, it's not normal. But they're desensitized. You should be the light in the darkness. Not read them and get hyped. Yeah, they don't think I'm a real G. I'm going to show them. I take the paperwork on. Shut up. Let, let, let the next person come try to just, I'm blocking you. I'm not even... I don't have energy anymore to, 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 I stress myself out, bro, for my own people, but my own people don't care about it. They don't even, wow. I'm stressing myself out trying to save you, but you don't want to save yourself. So I'm done. It's the last time I, uh, I'm sick, sick of it. Sick of it. Hit the like button, man. Smash subscribe button. I'm done. All right? It's your boy AK, man. Documentary's cooking. I'll see you guys when I drop it. There's three-part episodes of the Carter Planet Shadow Crew story. And then it's nice. But anyway, this video drained me, bro. Peace out.